Lugosi, and every day in October I'm watching a horror movie, then I'm doing a review on it. And the movie that I'm doing today is called Prom, the original Prom with uh, Jamie Lee Curtis. Okay. The, isn't this supposed to be like a horror movie classic or something? Like that? I don't know. I just didn't get that feeling from it. It was really corny. And it was shot really cornily. And the plot was just weird. I don't know. It, it starred Jamie Lee Curtis. So I was like, oh, Jamie Lee Curtis is awesome, you know? And it was just so bad. I don't, I don't even know how else to explain it. It was just so bad. Like, I thought the killings were going to be really exciting and really gory and really good. But the only good killing scene there really was when this guy got his head chopped off. That was really cool. Um, also, another cool thing, another good thing about the movie was the serial killer was, like, actually fast. Like, it actually ha hung on the side of this, like, big van thing. And the van was swerving, and he was actually getting back into the van and jumping and chasing people. Because, I mean, there are those horror movies where you're like, how the heck does the serial killer always catch up with a victim when the serial killer goes, like, super slow? They're just like, serial killer's just walking. And the victim is just running, running away. But the serial killer is just right there. And it's like, how is it even possible? How do you just pop up when the freaking other person was running and you were walking? I mean, do you walk with really big steps? I, I don't get it. Are you a ninja? I don't know. I just have never gotten why that happens in horror movies. Another thing is, at the end, it turns out that Jamie Lee Curtis's brother is the killer. Hmm... I can't remember the name of that one horror movie when her brother ended up being the killer in the movie. Yeah, what's the name of that movie again? Anyway, um, it's just, it was less than what I expected it to be. And when it turned out that her brother was a serial killer, spoiler alert, it was just like, why? He was, oh, because we killed that girl at the beginning of the movie. We killed her. We killed her. So did everybody else. Why'd you have to go freaking crazy? Why did everybody go crazy and start killing people? I just, uh, and the one guy was pointless that had in the movie. I guess they wanted to make it seem like he was a serial killer. The guy that got burnt. Up or whatever, whatever the heck his name was. I don't know. And then it credits Leslie Nielsen, like, he's, like, top build, and he's, like, hardly in the movie. I don't understand that. I guess it's because they wanted people to see the movie because he was in it, though I don't understand because it's not supposed to be funny. I don't know why people would want to see a movie with Leslie Nielsen in it if he's not being funny in it. Um, so I'm just getting kind of angry about this movie because hell, these people in it. And it just wasn't that good. So, I would have to give the movie Prom Night two stars. Because it really it wasn't horrible, horrible, but it was below good. So, um, stay tuned next time for my next horror movie review.